Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. Oh, let's move here first. Oh, well, what you guys have seen, I'll talk about that. That's me and my angel wings, my Victoria's Secret moment. I'm sorry, I cannot. So here it is. Um, <coughs> excuse me, guys. Uh, so I'm wearing the Capricorn, of course. I know you're a Sagittarius, but <laughs> I haven't found the other zodiac. It's a mess. It's a riot, you know. <laughs> so imagine wearing 12 shirts every time. It's difficult, okay? So um, you can get your Sagittarius AF. Um, you can check it out in the description box. And among with the whole apparel that we have, it's crazy. Like our orders are just piling up, and I haven't had the time to make it. <laughs> But order yours now. So once I start, you know, you can. Uh, I'll make yours soon. <laughs> okay. But I will talk to you about also later on the upcoming um, workshop that we'll be having here in Los Angeles. Okay. So this is not through Zoom. This is not through um, what do you call a camera and stuff like that. This is face to face. You get to see this. Okay. This. Okay. And the gorgeousness. Thank you. Okay. Live. I'll talk about it more later. So let's begin here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. <sighs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. I get excited. I talk fast, you know. So, how are you? What's going on with you? Let me see current transit. What's up with the Sag? Where's the moon? Mm. What's up with that? Why are we having issues with health and food intake? Mm. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Huh. Who is this long distance person that you are with right now, but having issues with communication? Okay. It feels like the connection is going distant. You're trying, but it's going distant. You're trying. It feels like you almost could have had a good one or something good. And then... Something between the two of you are causing a lot of issues. It's all, especially family-wise. We always have to look at the the moon. Mm -hmm. Not, you know, it could be a moon in Sagittarius, ascendant. But I, I look at the moon as a transit also, because it's very important to look at the what we call Chandra Lagna, right? The moon, because the mind is so powerful, right? Mm. Yeah, so that's much as I can see. Like, be careful with driving. Okay, that's something that you need to be very, very careful of. Of especially the next twenty six, twenty seven, in the next two days. Be careful on that one. And a lot of friction at home. There's gonna be a lot of tension. Okay, it's very heated up kind of. Um, uh, how to say this time? Okay. So let's see. Oh, let's start with Oracle first. You know me, I'm scattered. Welcome to my life. Okay. I'm like a star, they ask me. So if you, what are you? Like I'm a star. Why? Cuz I'm scattered. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm everywhere. Okay. I'm everywhere all over. Okay. <laughs> That's me. So let's see Oracle. Mm. You have your good luck. I love that. Go, Sag. Go, right? Go, Sag. Go. Yeah. Shake those my arms. <laughs> I was looking at the good luck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get the back of the card. Oh, shake those money makers, Sag, right? Open an OnlyFans. Why not? Everyone has it. <laughs> So good luck is in your is in your favor right now. The planet of luck is in Jupiter and Pisces. Now Mars has been uh, calm over here in Pisces and it's going to go out of fourth house, which is good. That's why it's a tension over there. It's calm, it's soothing, but we don't like it when it's moving from one zodiac to the next one because that's when it becomes aggravated, kind of like boiling. But Jupiter in the fourth, of course, it's good time for the family, good time for the mom, good time for feeling comfort, good time for... Because um, Jupiter's planet of opportunity, buying a car, moving, relocating, or expansion of, of um, you know, of the home life. That's that one. And this is also having good sleep or having a good mental kind of condition. Like you're going to feel like, you know, this is where I'm at and I'm feeling good. All right. Feeling good. Like I should, right? Why not, Sal? So good luck. Now, of course, there are different charms that you can use for good luck. Now, I shared it with the Scorpio, I believe. Um, n the white orchid is not for luck. I do have a purple one. It's right there. I'm not going to stand, though, guys. Okay. 
Because I'm not wearing anything below the belt. I said, no, 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 I have, I have, I have. <laughs> See, it's me. I joke. And I'm nasa med. Okay. So purple. Okay, those are things that attract money and wealth. But plus you guys know the the Piao bracelet um, that we have. You know, I have a Piao here in front of me. Like, there's two there. Okay. And then... Um, what else? Uh, it's good luck. Well, good luck is also, um, you know, having a positive mindset, but that's, you know, that's something like, in a way, it's a manifestation of reality in our life. So the more that we are more, because it's, it's, it's good to have positivity as a mindset, but you have to be realistic, right? You know, you can be like, oh, I'm all about positivity, you know, but at the same time, it's like, you know, you're not going to become, you know, the next whatever, you know, I, I understand that, but you have to find the the genuineness of your positivity. Like, what is it really within you that you are grateful for? And then it would turn out to a positive aura. Yes, aura, aura, aura. So that's how you basically have that mindset of positivity. It's not just waking up and it's like, oh, we should feel good. No, no, no. It's the gratitude, the thankfulness, the appreciation of the divine that gives us that aura of happiness, positivity. It's not like the, those old reels in Instagram, those YouTube, like I wake up at 5.30 a.m. and I got my nice little coffee over there, positivity with this minimalist apartment. No, 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 it's right here. It's Yes, the, the aesthetic is Venus material, yes. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. But, but it's more of um, the gratitude first. Okay, that's where it starts, you know, from the way you, the time you wake up and the time that you end the day. So it's a mind programming. That's something that you have to work on also if you want to manifest something good in your life. Um, but we can all talk about that in the in the workshop. Sorry, I got distracted. Okay, because it's about good luck. So check out the workshop. It's going to be in uh, here in Los Angeles. Make sure to sign up. Oh, Ace of Cups, King of Pentacles for love. Or money, okay. So yeah, okay. I heard everybody says money, okay. So if you guys like the energy right here, imagine me live, okay. It's like getting closer to the sun. You'll be combust, okay. Here we go. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. <coughs> seven of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Seven of Wands, Six of Wands, the Sun. And the Five of Cups. Okay. So. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. I'm. I'm learning to forgive myself. Wow. That's. Because I look at the, the Queen of Cups also. You're learning to understand yourself. That it's okay to slow down. It's okay not to keep pushing every time. Seven of Pentacles is a card of um, you were diligent putting effort. Like during the Six of Pentacles, you work hard for your career every day, right? Consistency is the key. Um, there's a Six of Pentacles also. Um, your prayers is sixth house also. Um, consistency of uh, rituals is in the sixth house. So the more you do it, the daily ritual, you know, the more you can <coughs> excuse me, manifest good things in your life. So now, for you, it's in the process. You've manifested. You're letting go. And seven of pentacles over here is the manifestation of the growth that you want. When you plant a seed, you cannot rush it. You could just have to be patient, water it, tend to it, give it some sunshine, and it will grow. So just like any other thing that we we have a desire of to grow in this planet, it takes time. And that's the value of Seven of Pentacles, is taking time. When was the last time that you said, like, it's okay? It will take time, you know? For me, I'm on that. I'm as far as like as young as I am, as a 24, you know, 23, fine, okay. <laughs> um, it takes time for everything that you build, business, relationship. Um, even your kids would take time before they go to college so that they can be the one to provide for you and feed you, right? Okay, because those son of a, mm-hmm, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. 
Everything takes time. That's what you're learning. Queen of Cups, right here. Your intuition is on point. You're tell you know you're learning to observe. You're learning to understand your feelings and emotions. So this is good. Queen of Cups is a nurturing queen, which means that before you nurture others, you have to nurture yourself. So that Balenciagas, I feel like you should. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. Every time I make a joke, um. But anyhow, yes, that is true. The Chanel boy bag is a must. Okay. Queen of Cups over here is like, yes, it's good. To, it's a good time for me to understand what I've gone through, process that, accept it. Queen of Cups is to um, um, learn through those different emotions and then trust your intuition that you are in the right path with what you're doing in this life. Nobody knows what we're doing in life. A lot of teachers would teach, but they're also in the same page as we are. We are bound by karma. They're meant to teach. Uh, we're, me we're meant to learn. And vice versa but the reality of it we're all trying to figure out what god has intended for us to be here in this planet that's the queen of cups find that thing that makes you feel alive because mm -hmm. the queen of cups she's always alive she's jolly the queen of pentacles is not jolly queen of wands no queen of cups is yeah you would want to have a tea with the queen of cups seven of wands learning to say no you know so once you have been patient you work on yourself, your intuition, your emotions, your feelings. Now you already know that this is going to work and this is not going to work, seven of ones. So you're uh, what do you call you're very realistic with the approach right now with the connection because phrase is like, well, I feel like this is where I won't, um, um, I won't overstep. I won't cross this line. I also won't ask you to do anything for me with the seven of ones. We keep basically ourselves, you know, in this manner, like distance, seven of wands. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, sorry about that, guys. Um, six of wands over here is um, you, um, you have high expectations on anything that you do, which can become very critical. You're more of like, I want to be the best. I want you know, like performance in job, in work or social media. If you're uh, famous in your career, in your business, it's like if I set my standard, it's only going to be the best. And you always have a plan of action. That's the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is very smart. No? It came out of a lot of issues with the Five of Wands. You finally know what to do from the Five of Wands. A lot of conflict has happened in life, period. <coughs> Excuse me. I wasn't coughing when I started this, but I know. Then you have the Sun card. So you have a direction. You have a vision in life. And you're soaking on this right now, which is amazing. I love that. I love that you see your potential and you're not obsessing about someone. You're not like, whoa, I want this. You know, it's like, no, 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 no. Now, you do have uh, someone that you will cross path with or have cross path with. They're not in the same page as you are. Um, you're w waking up happy, joyful, and just ecstatic in life with the, uh, with the sun card. And then you have a person right now who needs you more than ever. Now, I'm not sure who this person is, but, they, you know, you guys haven't talked for a while. That's the five cups. So I really don't see this person yet or have seen this person at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wonder, sorry, guys. No, there's wiring. You know, Life is just a mess. And I love it. Okay. So let's see. You have the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Wands, the High Priestess, Three of Cups, the Hierophant, <coughs> excuse me, and the Seven of Swords. Nine of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles, it does feel like you are more happy than ever. Um, you do work hard um, for a lot of things that you have right now in your life, and you're reaping what you saw. Like for some, I see here like dividends, you know. Like there are things that are already have interest and you're getting some money back. Um, for others, this is more of like coming home and bringing home the bacon. It feels like you are closing a contract with the work and there's some throwing party. Like uh, it's like, no, like a, we call it the spedida with us. I don't know what it's called here. Like it's a send off. There you go. Send off. So, you know, like you're being sent off or they're being sent off. Like, oh, you know, it's like yours being sent off. It's like, oh, I'm going home. I made the dough, I got it all good, you know. Um, ten of Wands with the Nine of Cups, okay? Now, this is just a story, hypothetically. I, I don't think it's anyone here. But, you know, it's like if it's a movie, 
let's just say I don't know why this is the reference. Oh, I, I'm an open channel and I will just channel what I say. So it's like, you know, when you're a stripper, <laughs> all right, more power to you. Okay, and then you finally make bank, you finish yourself, you, you sent yourself ready to college, and this is the last time that you're dancing in the pole. Okay, because you're gonna own the club soon. Because <laughs> you finish management. Okay, <laughs> now I own the club. Okay, but yeah, so this is that time you make enough dough, you know, make enough money, and then you're just basically coming home. It's like I'm ready to settle, meaning it's like establish myself in a different career. Love that. Okay. I'll be a stripper any time of the day. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then open OnlyFans. Yes. Capitalize on that, darling. Capitalize. Okay. Hi, President. I'm the only teacher who will teach you to capitalize. You have gifts? Of course. Capitalize. Hi, Priestess over here. Mm -hmm. Seven of Wands. You're not going to talk to this person. You set boundaries. You, you told this person, and it's like, listen. I'm going to try to do me and figure my life, which is good. You have your self-growth. And I wish that you do the same. Mm -hmm. Three of Cups with the Six of Wands. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, guys. You'll bump into this person accidentally. I don't know if I keep having this with a Sag, but there's always someone that unexpectedly you will bump into. Okay. Hopefully not your landlord. Right. High Priestess with the Sun card over here. It's like, this is a major signing of a contract. This is a big deal. This is a big company. Or you're establishing a big company. High Priestess with the Sun card. A world recognition. An award and achievement is this one. Um, with the High Priestess and the Sun card, this is for me, this is like going to Italy. Uh, I go on vacation in Italy. Okay. Or Rome. Or Greece. Or somewhere in that area. Okay. That area. Kaliwa ka lang dyan. Dire-direcho. Kanan. Okay. So, but it's a, it's a big vacation. Sun, the sun for me is a, is a vacation. Um, the sun card for me is like a getaway. Uh, so you're going out and away. Okay. Be because there's something about contracts and celebration. You're making it big and making it happen. Now, the person is trying to find the courage, like what I told you, to communicate and speak their voice towards you. They haven't. Had. They're trying, which they have now as a strength card. Um... You really kept yourself out of this connection for a long time. Probably two years, three years before. Because you're not really participating in any kind of romance. I feel like you're patiently waiting for yourself, uh, patiently working on yourself. And then now that you see, it's like, you know what? I'm doing good. You know, I'm doing good. I like that. I like that attitude. You're doing good, mm. which you should be, right? Now, people are also attracted to you with the Six of Wands. Um, a lot of people, once to associate with you, can be business partnership also. Offers left, excuse me, left and right. Um, there are things that you have been Googling and researching that you're trying not to tell anyone. So it must be something special that you are launching pretty soon. So it's in the wraps. You're doing it. For others, you can be a musician, an artist, an actor, and you have been working on a project. And um, it's about time that, you know, it's going to be released to the public. There's something big that is manifesting here. I can feel that. Okay. So, um, for people who want to work with me, okay, in the coming July, the workshop is going to be in the description box below. More details will be sent to you guys once you sign up. It's limited spots, um, so make sure to sign up. And at the same time, uh, how to say this, there'll be an extended to this. Your person now finally has courage. We've seen how your life transformed. Now let's see what this person will be delivering to you, okay? Because that's them. Okay. Now it does look good with the strength and the uh, hierophant. This is someone who's being courageous to talk about the relationship, right? And again, this is the bumping in each other, you know, bumping and grinding, okay? So, okay, so let me continue this reading. Um, what else? I'll uh, make sure to visit our store in Studio City. We're the only channel who has a store, a real store, um, here in Los Angeles. Okay, for uh, we're the one-stop metaphysical shop. Everything they can think of, we probably have it. And at the same time, we have our app available in Apple and Android. The only channel who has an app also. So I don't know why you don't have all these things in your phone, which makes it very easy for you to get everything from crystals, incense, candles. Um, anything, again, tarot cards, oracle cards, everything is in our store, okay? So, oh, check the apparel also. 
So I'll see you guys again. Oh, that's why you have something big that's coming your way. You have the sun and the good luck. No wonder. Oh, we'll channel more of this energy in the extended. Thank you very much, Sagittarius, for watching. I'll see you guys again. Bye.